Setting up. And I think we're live now. It's showing me the Facebook page. I'll close that. Well, hello, everybody. Cuddlist Madeline Guanazzo here, and I've been spending my weekly time with the core cuddlist um, and uh, always feeling inspired and fed and nourished by this. So we thought that a few of us would take a time to share with all of you what we receive from these calls. Because um, they're so nourishing and Cuddlist is really about self-care, that the more we fill up ourselves and receive from the people around us, the more resourced we are to show up and share that with the rest of the world. So I'm just going to share a few comments of what I've received and open that up to the rest of us. Um, Yoni was on earlier and was talking really eloquently about the muscle memory of love, that the more we experience um, giving and receiving love closely with the people around us, the more reinforced that becomes, the more habit, literally in our nervous system, the myelin sheath gets created and the electricity flows smoother through that. So, and, and, and Anna had this idea of refamilying. Like we, we, the way we show up with loved ones is the way, you know, we get what maybe um, we wanted differently in our family of origin. And I get to experience that with these people. I get to experience that when I work with the trainees and I get to experience that with my clients. You know, this sense of really being the way we wish it was and, and, being the, and, and having that be the way it is now. And um, just speaking to you now, I get to feel that. So thank you for listening and taking it in, whatever, it, whatever is here for you. Who else wants to share? I'll share. Um, I want to change the world. I want it to be a place where touch is more easily available, where people can be more vulnerable and ask for what they want. And it's, this is something that doesn't happen um, by writing a letter to your congressman. This is something we have to do. And to be around people who are doing it and to have their experiences, what makes it work better? What, what are the struggles? How do they overcome them? Is enormously helpful. And I wish I could bottle all of that goodness and give it to you. And um, I am grateful for it myself. Thank you, John. For me, the core calls, I hate missing them. And it's not really something I like consciously, I'm not necessarily accomplishing something, but it's a, a felt experience. And I come away just like super pumped and jazzed and this dopey grin that goes behind my ears to the back of my head and like meets itself again because I'm just feeling so good and it um it's like a cuddle session without actually having physical contact it's just this like high on love and love that's authentic and I trust people to speak up and say this this doesn't work for me when you did that that bothers me or and then on the flip side I can feel uh, someone phrased it the other day I don't remember but when you know, I can trust you to have a yes when I can trust you and hear clearly your no. And it's amazing practice and experience with people who are living and growing in the ways that I'm wanting to live and grow and are letting me be imperfect and are loving me just because their love is radiating out from their chest and it sparks my love and makes me bring it out along with me for the rest of the week. And I haven't even realized how lucky I am to have these. It's just been part of of course I get to have this this group of incredible people who I connect with every week but it it's added a shine and a glow to my life and I echo what John said about wanting that that's I mean of course if I have something amazing I want to pass it on so I love that we get to generate it and make it shine for ourselves and that by itself is enough but it's I think it also spreads further thank you Thank you. And I hope 
the people watching it can just feel it if you tune into your gut because I think you'll get it if you if you want to. <laughs> uh, I'll just pop in real quick and, and add that it's early in California when these meetings happen. So I I made reference earlier. It's like Sunday family dinner, but it's Thursday breakfast. It's just the ritual of it, and I like I love rituals, and like I like that it's a every week I show up and I see generally the same faces, and it is safe, and it it is very much like a virtual group huddle. And, um, and yeah, it, it's nice to feel um, very seen on a regular basis and um, supported and um, in authentic, uh, it, it uses authenticity and it's really lovely. Thank you, Michelle. For me, it has been um, absolutely a privilege to, to get to know the core members um, over this past year, um, to learn from their experiences, to, um, to learn from Madeline and, and see how she um, facilitates these conversations and the invitations um, that, she, that she gives us. They are just, uh, yeah, they facilitate just really deep, meaningful, vulnerable conversations. And I'm, I'm so grateful for those, um, to have those in my life um, with other people who I know are passionate about this work. Um, uh, that's, to be able to connect with all of them is um, very, very valuable and has, has helped me in my personal life and as a pra practitioner, um, as I do this, this work. Um, on my own and with other people. So, thank you. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you all for receiving, watching, and listening. May you, um, may you all show up, you know, consistently in your lives for yourselves and others to receive the love that's here. Um, yeah, and to be sustainable.